Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Sport. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Sport 3 litre SD V6 Autobiography Dynamic Auto 4 wheel drive. 2016 on a 66 plate has done 61,537 miles. Two registered owners from new. Fuel economy, urban 35.8 miles per gallon extra urban 44.1 miles per gallon and combined is 40.4 miles per gallon. Now personally I think those are a little bit unrealistic but it's still a lot better than the old Range Rover um, and I probably average about 30 miles per gallon just uh, going to work and back. 0 to 60 6.8 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a 302 brake horsepower 624 valve engine. High pressure headlamp wash uh, the daytime running lights, the front fog lamps. It also amazes me uh, how low the front of the Range Rover is, but how steep a hill you can you can get up. So great design there. Um, front parking sensors. I think this has the may have the black pack. At least it's got the kind of Santorini black grille, the black vents, the black roof, and A, B, and C pillars. Black vents on the side. 22-inch alloys, multi-spoke uh, kind of tuning fork, horseshoe design, real real good wheel. The red brake calipers too. Keyless entry, as long as you've got the key on you, you close the door with your, just your thumb on the door and then when you come back to the car, if you put your hand behind the lever and just pull it out. Power folding door mirrors as well. This is body colour, the, the plastic um, lower door protector and sill protector. Really nice colour combination this. Rear privacy glass, which I, I don't particularly like, but anyway, it's got rear privacy glass. It's got the full panoramic roof, which I do like. That, that's fantastic. Great extra. Integrated rear tailgate spoiler. Power open, power close, tailgate, bags of room in the back, flat load area, the roller blind load cover. Oh, I've just remembered something, I think. If I do that. <laughs> I like something off Thunderbirds, I always forget them, but it's got the... Um, got the rear tow bar that stows away. Power close as well. I can't remember whether this has got the, uh, the easy open as you come back to the car with your shopping. Yes it has. So foot gesture control for the for the tailgate and then you've just got the button there just under here you've got your reversing camera and then you've got reversing sensors and, and the twin chrome exhaust tips there real good design good looking car these Range Rovers and they drive fantastic there's nothing better <laughs> When I, when I set off this morning, the forecast was sunny. It was absolutely lashing down, blowing a gale, freezing cold. That was about probably two or three hours ago when I got here. Um, I'd already done the test drive, which was in the pouring rain and also fog virtually, or mist anyway. And it, there's nothing better than knowing when you can hear the rain on your windows at home, when you're getting up in the morning, it's lashing against your windows. There's nothing better than knowing at least you've got a Range Rover on your drive that you can jump in. It doesn't matter what the weather's like. You can just go anywhere, do anything, uh, be very, very comfortable and uh, be very, very safe too. Lovely seats. It's like, it is like new inside. It's a light interior. It does need a, a, a clean, but not you know it, it doesn't need a, a deep clean just needs a wipe the car is beautiful this beautiful suede or alcantara whatever you call it um, headlining 
and the full panoramic roof here. Here we've got the rear centre armrest, two cup holders and a little net there, perhaps to keep your phone, stop it rattling or sliding about. Isofix rear child seat anchor points at the back here and three inertia reel belts. You've got airbags in the A pillar, no doubt the B pillar or the side of the seats anyway, definitely the side of the seats in the C pillar and the D pillar. Lovely safe environment to be in. It's also great, as, as I mentioned before, or I do mention later on the test drive, I forgot I did the test drive today before I've done this bit. The, the music, uh, if you like music, there's nowhere better to listen to music than a, than a car because the engineers spend hours and hours and millions of pounds soundproofing these vehicles and making the acoustics just right inside, which you can never do in your house really, unless you've got a recording studio in your house. And, and the, the car's fantastic. The, it's got it's got a subwoofer that sometimes it feels like you're being punched it it gets you that hard not everybody likes music but i do and and that's one of my big things pan roof good stereo and a range rover and, and i'm happy <laughs> don't don't take a lot does it here we've got uh, the heater controls vents in the back you've also got heated seats for the two outer seats magazine nets here and uh as I say, the Meridian speakers and this kind of checker plate and the, the, the contrast, these contrast piping, it really does, it, it looks lovely this car. Um, please don't buy it while I'm using it. Okay, I'll just take you for riding it. And, and for, for you people who uh, Always check the continuity on my videos. You'll see it's brilliant sunshine. And when I get in the car, it's lashing down. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's foul out there. Gosh. <laughs> well, there's not much chance of any drone shots today, um, and there's not much chance of getting any footage from outside, so I'm going to have to do that another time and perhaps cut it in, but uh, I will show you that that's the weather forecast at the moment. Uh, it doesn't mention gale force winds or, or a monsoon, and I'm absolutely drenched anyway. What better car to be in than a Range Rover when the weather's like this? So that's the, sorry, it's keyless ignition. That's the key. Uh, I find it just fits nicely there, but does tend to rattle a bit. So if it does, I'll, I'll move it. Turn that off. And we'll just uh, give you the service history. 30th of 2017 at, uh, I'm assuming that's 14,491 miles, a bit of a space there, Paragon Land Rover. 27th of 9th, 2018 at 26,256 miles, uh, Team Valley Land Rover. 5th of 9th, 2019, 39,371 miles, Team Valley Land Rover. 28th to the 8th, 2020, 50,943 miles, Team Valley Land Rover, and uh, we'll service it again. It, I think the MOT's up on some, oh, it's, well, it's there, 28th to the 11th, uh, 2021. So we'll be MOT in it again. I'm using this car at the moment, so I don't feel the need to rush and buy it. We do have uh, four Range Rovers in stock now. Three, well, actually, we've got five. We've got uh, Three Range Rover Sports, one Range Rover Vogue, and uh, we've also got an Evoque. All beautiful cars. This one is an autobiography and uh, lovely spec. I, I really I, I like this car. I'll just uh, get my seatbelt on. And then the all important things. Um, today is... Uh, it's one of those days when you'd rather be at home by the fire 
but if you do have to go out, then as I said before, there's nothing better than, than a Range Rover. It, it will deal with anything, anything that the, the weather can throw at it, this will deal with it. It'll wade up to 35 inches of water, I think. This one's got a heated steering wheel, we've got a heated front screen, get a heated rear screen on, it's got air conditioning. We've also got heated and cooled seats. If you, if you click the switch there, you can turn that and it blows cool air through the perforations in the leather, but that's not what we want today, so we'll turn it back the other way. Oops, turn it onto seats, and there we go, switch the heated seat on. You can also click that switch and it should show it up here. And, the, and again, as you can see there, I, I can knock it down and then put the, the cooled seats on. So we'll get it back to heat. You've also got heated rear seats as well. The heated steering wheel is an absolute godsend. When you stop the car, this has got access height as well. So when you stop the car, it will go down. Um, let me just let me just do it. See so, so if it'll do it here. And um, then at least we've got the tower for reference. So we, we've got the key. Stop the car. And there we go. We, we're going down. So that, that allows you to get out a little bit easier. Not as far far to go down. And then again, and it will show on the dash. We've set off as it'll pump up, and uh, away we go. It just reminded me on the dashboard there that there's a service required. We've got electric seats. electric height and reach adjustable steering wheel here and it can all be there we go you can program all these into the memory here so three position electric memory seats when you get in after another driver press the position that you've got it will move the steering wheel the seats and also the the mirrors absolutely best in my opinion, best car on the road. As I said, I just couldn't imagine. On a day like today, I can't imagine another car that I would rather be in. But then again, that would be the same if it was sunny too. I can't imagine another car that I would rather drive. They are absolutely brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Um, the suspension's tremendous. Uh, I had Volvo were kind enough to lend me a, a, a lovely <coughs> V90 last week with air suspension, and that that was good. I, I have to admit that was really good. And I, I would imagine that the higher up Volvo would it be the you know the XC90 in that specification that would be good too. But there's just something about a Range Rover. I'm always talking to people, or customers, or people who ring up and they want a Range Rover and they're letting other people put them off. And I, I can't actually think of anybody, of any customers I've had, who've had a Range Rover and had a, a real bad experience with it. Sure, we, we do get warranty claims and, and some of them are fairly, you know, big, but even though we've had those claims I can hand on heart say that the to us we have fewer problems with Range Rovers than we do with BMWs Mercedes and Audis um, I think what's ha what's happened now is perhaps Range Rover were unreliable although when you look and you see all the vehicles that are still around that are like 40 and 50 years old it's hard to imagine that being true I, I think it's just a case of really Brit bashing uh, everybody seems to uh, 
have a downer on British products, even a lot of British people, which I, I just I just don't understand, you know. <laughs> it's all our stuff's fantastic. I think that Mercedes and Audi and BMW, I think they're trading on their past reputation and I don't think they're a patch on what they used to be. But certainly the designs aren't. Whereas Range Rover have come up and it, in my humble opinion, um, are, I can't even say it, are unbeatable. Um, I, they, they really are fantastic, very simple, which I like. I like simple, easy to use, nothing to distract you really and, and make you have to take your eyes off the road for too long, a glance at the most, but most of it, you know, you, you can, you know by touch and after you've been driving one a while, you can just go straight to the button. We've got here, we can click that across and put it in manual, change gear like so. Change up and down, or we can use the paddle shifts. You've got drive. Now this is, this has dynamic mode. So if we click that out, turn that across here, the dashboard gets angry. There you go, you can just see the dashboard as is glowing red now. So the dashboard now glows red. The, the steering goes horrible, really taut. You get a like an orange kind of country lane sign on the dashboard. And then, I mean, it does sound good. <laughs> It gets this really taut feeling to the suspension, which I don't like because it, the, just the normal Range Rover is so good. You, you don't need it. It's, it gives you a false, a false sense of grip on the road, I suppose. But anyway, so we'll, we'll just go back to automatic there, normal mode, which is fantastic. Just, to, I had, I went home last night and went to the car wash, so this would be nice and clean for this morning to video. And I'm afraid it's going to be filthy if it if it does actually clear clear up. It's going to be filthy, but it, I can tell you, it's a lovely car. It's, it's just as it's come in. It's not being cleaned. It's got the ivory leather. To be fair, the the leather needs a, a wipe over, but we'll we'll come up like new. It's a great colour combination. Some grey, is it? <laughs> I can't remember what it is. It's somewhat like Serengeti grey. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's some name that you would never associate grey with. A bit like Santorini black, where you look at pictures of Santorini and it's all white and blue. And <laughs> Range Rover call it Santorini black. So there you go. It's grey metallic. On the left hand side here you've got your phone controls, also audio controls. On the right hand side, set. Now that's one touch, set the cruise and you, you would also see there, hopefully you'll be able to see from the dash, sorry from this GoPro on the dash. If I, if I just click it again. oh. Is the uh, Extinction Rebellion pheasants again. They're always in the same place. There must definitely be a pheasant crossing there. So, set the steering wheel, and you see there you've got orange bars, and there you go. That's changing the gap, and I can bring it down there, like so. So that's only a small gap. But you, you can basically drive along the motorway knowing that if the car in front stops or slows down, and especially if it's a 
<laughs> if it's an electric vehicle these days with regenerative braking, because when they take the foot off the, their accelerator and, and the regeneration system clicks in, it slows quite down quite drastically and some of them, in, in fact most of them, or perhaps even all of them, the brake lights don't come on, which is a stupid idea. So they slow down quickly, you're not aware, you've no, no warning because the, the brake lights don't come on. But the car knows, the car's got kind of this radar up front. I'm going to have to switch the heated seats off because they're boiling. But what a fantastic car. Got high pressure headlamp wash. Got Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Sat nav. Oops. <coughs> On road navigation, off road navigation. So it, it's a real simple system, um, very easy to use, a lot easier than most. As I say, everything about it, you've got this kind of checker plate, some more <coughs> extension rebellion peasant, pheasants. <coughs> Young lady driving far too fast, really. Indicators on the left, it's automatic headlights, wipers on the right, rear wash wipe, a reversing camera, these ivory seats, perforated leather with. The, the black piping, contrast piping, matches the, the dash, tops of the dash and the steering wheel. Nice and easy to use climate control. Again, it's, it does have the temperature there, but more to go wrong. Does anybody want to be at an exact temperature that they know or do they just want to be warm enough or cool enough? One great extra in here, the Meridian speakers. The sound system is fantastic. Um, right, let's just see. We're out in the country, so Siri probably won't work. I can't touch my phone. We'll put it onto <clears throat> Turn that down a second. Hey Siri, play Spirit in the Sky. To do that, you'll need to be online. Thank you, Siri. Once again, you're absolutely useless. Right, so we'll just... We, no access to the internet, of course. And I found this had a car last week with Google Assistant and you could switch everything on with Google Assistant. There was, no, there was hardly any switches in it. But to use Google Assistant, you had to have the internet. And of course, there's no signal up here, so you couldn't switch anything on without going into the dash and so on. And, and to be fair, with all these touch screens, if you ask me, what's the difference between using one of those touch screens and, and using your phone? If anything, the, the touch screens are harder you, you, you're trying to drive and, and press a touch screen, press a button, and it just doesn't work. You, you end up pressing the wrong thing. I think there's a little pulling around here, so if there is, I'll just demonstrate the, uh, the stereo. The, there's two records that came on yesterday that really, really brought it across just how good it was. Here we go, we'll pull in here. And I'm going to put it in park, in park, and I'm going to switch the engine off. Right, so everything's off, because um, uh, I did touch my phone when the engine was on, even though I was, I was stopped, and, and, and somebody had to go at me about it. So I'm in a lay-by, I'm off the road, the engine's off, it's in park, I don't know what else I can do. I'm going to touch my phone. Right, so we'll get... Um, 
Let's see now, library, libraries here, search. Spirit in the sky. Right, right. Just wait for it to come back up. Audio device connected. Right. <laughs> now that that is abs that is going through my body. It's uh... right. I'm gonna switch off again. Go in park. Phone. Let's see. Now then, one one more record. Gosh, there's a lot of don'ts, isn't there? Don't view. Wish. Yeah, here we go. All right, let me just turn that down. Start. Audio device. Tack. It almost blows the doors off. It, the, the stereo system is fantastic. The, the, the bass that comes through the car is, is tremendous. If you like music anyway, this Meridian sound system is, is, it is absolutely brilliant. All right, let's get going again. I'm gonna have to turn the heater down because it's I'm too hot here now with my jacket on. I do uh, hope it stops raining. If so, I'll go back to where we were before and try and photograph the outside, but it, it was just lashing down. Here we go. Just put hill descent on. So there we go. Here we go. Foot off the accelerator. not touching the brake and we're just going down this hill nicely and it's equally as good on, on wet grass really or as good as it can be expected so we'll, we'll knock the hill descent off and get going It's fantastic, quite a, obviously out in the country, quite a bumpy road. And this is just, soaks all the bumps up. You're in a great commanding position. Nice big door mirrors. When you're on the motorway, you're above all the spray. And they're just so easy to drive. I, th I think it says effortless in the in the brochure, and, and it's absolutely spot on. It's such a relaxed way of driving. You've got a little fridge in there or cooler box. Nice big front central armrest. You've also got adjustable armrests here, which you can adjust with this wheel to get exactly in the right position. Nice big armrest over here. If you're a lazy driver. A real comfortable position. I, I've not done the electric seat roulette yet. Might have a go there. I've, I've, I have changed position number one to B. And here we go, big. It's like a big flipping step down. I can never go down that in other cars when I come here because I, I'd be frightened of bottoming out. But so let, let's see. Position position one is mine. I set that. Position two. I am squeaking a bit leather on leather, should never do it. So that's position two. So, oh, cranky, that was going tight. 
and position three there. So as you can see there, whoever's been driving this Range Rover before in the second and third position anyway, uh, uh, quite diminutive and, and it's a big car. It's just no problem to drive. You've got such a good all round view. Everything's covered. And uh, as I say, we, we've got we've got five in at the moment, which is which is good because as I say, <laughs> we've got a 13 plate, a 60 65 plate, and then I think this is a 66 plate. Autobiographies, lovely suede roof, doggy. It's getting soaked. Everybody's very polite in the country today. Yeah, this, this lovely suede headlining. Um, I would really like the autobiography spec. The HSE is, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I wouldn't be upset if I was driving one of those because the spec on those is fantastic. But I just like these, these little touches. I like the pipe seats and I like the headlining. Ah. Hairy bikers. That's uh, that's where the hairy bikers were the other week, and uh, this morning I set off early because supposedly it was going to be nice. I forgot my coffee, and I've had no breakfast, so uh, I might just stop for a, a bite to eat there and hope the weather eases off, so I can do the outside. He's not been there for a couple of weeks. And that reminds me, I've, I've, we're near, near at 21,000 subscribers now on the main channel. Probably got another six or 7,000 subscribers on the other, you know, just the how to set your radio channels. Uh, and I've, I've not heard from uh, one of my usual contributors so uh, I might I might send uh, Shane a message in a short while while I'm having the my breakfast there make sure he's okay really appreciate all the comments the, the positive ones <laughs> and the people who contribute by leaving you know comments insights things that they know from using a car that i've either not mentioned or not picked up on so it's all all appreciated and uh if the video is any use to you if you like and subscribe that helps too especially as i'm fast approaching retirement age and this youtube channel is my pension so uh anyway you know what i think about range rovers absolutely fantastic we've got front and rear parking sensors i'll just show you the i'll just show you the view we'll try and park in a nice place so you you get a reasonable view down the river there so there we go stick it in reverse one of the useless gopros brand new Oh, it's overheated. On a day like this, it's overheated. You can't believe it, can you? Um, there you go. That's the reversing sensors or reversing camera there. Just a lovely car. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.